Good day! In this video, we are going to try to solve question 1b of the 2021 NCA Level 2 Probability Methods question. The first table is found from question 1a and this is a replica of the table. So we are going to continue 1b. It is well known that many popular drinks consumed by teenagers in New Zealand contain ca caffeine in even higher dose than coffee. The same survey also asked the consumption of energy drinks. It is found that 36 students did not drink coffee but drink energy drinks. So that's 36 there. Only 7 of those who drank energy drinks but not coffee has no sleep issues. So 7. So to fill up the table, based on this data, we are going to fill up the table. So this is going to be 29 because 29 plus 7 is 36. And then we're going to fill up the row at the bottom. Okay, so the first, uh, if 300 minus 122 minus 36, and the answer is going to be 142. Next, we take 157, the total, minus 54 minus 7, they give us 96. And to calculate the box there is either using the row or the column total. We shall use the column total as what we have done before. So 143 minus 68 minus 29 and that will give us 46 so that is part one we are going to complete that table given the data the information given below so once we have done that we are going to transfer this table into the next question which is question part 1b part 2 okay we are going to now get the table we have just Transfer the table onto here, exactly the same table, and now we need to answer the question that requested us below. If there were 850 senior students at the school who don't drink either coffee or energy drink, how many would you expect to have sleep issues? So we are looking at the data here. Do not drink coffee or energy drink. So probability that they have sleep issues if they don't drink either coffee or energy drink so their sleep issue is going to be 46 out of 142. So that is the probability of students who have sleep issues if they don't drink either of the drink that contain caffeine. Okay. So now to calculate how many students will have that problem. So number of students who have sleep issues equals to 850 multiply by 46 over 142 or 0.3239 so that's equal to 0.3239 if you use your calculator calculate put in the calculator and the answer is going to be 275.35 so my answer will be 275 students who have sleep issues if they don't drink either coffee or energy drinks there. So if you can get that right, you get a merit for this question. Okay, last but not least, we have a claim question. Okay, we shall read this. Okay, a newspaper article claimed that teenagers in New Zealand who consume energy drink containing caffeine are twice or nearly twice likely to have sleep related issues than those who do not drink caffeine. Quest question caffeine drink so to do that we need to solve using the article so sleep issues is consumed drink containing caffeine if we look at this table again okay we shall just put the table here okay hope you can see okay i'm going to bring it up okay probability that sleep issues if they consume drink containing caffeine, we're going to take containing the I either here or here. Okay, so 28 plus 68 plus 29 will give us 97 out of the total of 122 plus 36 is going to be 158. Put in your calculator, and the answer is 0 0.6139. On the other hand, if you have sleep issues, we don't consume. So we are looking at this column here. Sleep issues is 46 out of 142. And put in your calculator again, it is going to be 0 0.3239. Okay. Once we have done that, we can calculate the relative rate. You take this number again, zero, the top number, 0 0.6139 divided by 
0.3239 and the answer will come up to 1.895 so if the newspaper article claim that it is twice nearly likely to have sleep issues if they don't drink caffeine i think it is true because it's quite close to two 1.89 is 1.9 is quite close to two so i would say that yes okay the claim that people who consume drink containing caffeine are twice to have sleep related issues than those who don't consume caffeine so if you can answer that that's a merit and then to or maybe it's excellent it's excellent actually if you can answer up to here you can calculate the relative risk is going to be excellent and then why is this study not valid okay so to support the validity the second part of this claim why because coffee and energy drink are not the only source of caffeine they may have drink other drinks involved and also the survey was an online study of only one school in new zealand it may be biased and hen is not representative of all new zealand students drinking coffee so that is how i answer so there are two excellent part in this question you can answer part one and part two here one and two you get two excellent t1 and t2 and you are on the way to get your excellence in this paper cheers everyone and have a good day